Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm gonna do an update on my leopard geckos and uh, and just show them all off. I'm gonna bring them out of their terrariums and just tell you about them a little bit. So here we go. So in this terrarium here, we've actually we've got my two oldest leopard geckos, Indica and Roach. And here's Indica. She's she was my first gecko and by far my favorite. She's a high yellow hypo carrot tail and she's the most chill leopard gecko. She's she actually when I when I pet her back, she usually stands up for me so that I have an easier time picking her up. She's one of my she's definitely what got me into reptiles. I'm I'm a bit of a snake person. I love snakes. They're they're my favorite, but leopard geckos are definitely what got me into the hobby. And there's, there she is. So let's get, let's get Roach out. Roach we bought from the same pet store in Prince Rupert, which is just one town over from here. And they told me she's a high, or a uh, uh, Max Snow. And a lot of people have argued with me about this and said that she's not the right color or not the right pattern, but I've seen plenty of Max Snows that look very similar to this. But she's definitely got a bit of a, what almost looks like an, I think it's called an aberrant pattern on her back. I, I love her, I love her coloring. She's really cool. Not quite as chill as Indica, but still pretty, pretty cool. But let's, let's put her away and get on to my next two geckos. So... Right next to Roach and Indica, this is Cheese's terrarium. She's a tangerine enigma. I got her last year from uh, the Urban Gecko. She's a little bit skittish today. We'll try and get her up without her freaking out too much. There we go. So she came from the Urban Gecko, and uh, I ordered two geckos from them. I call them Mac and Cheese. This one's Cheese, and she's pretty cool. She's got a bit of a problem. She uh, she spins around. Uh, I I think it has to do with the Enigma gene. They um they she as you can see she kind of tilts her head all the time, and. Uh, yeah, that's. I'm. I'm not gonna put her in with any other leopard geckos. I might pair her off for breeding in the future one day when I when I get myself a male, which hopefully is gonna happen soon. But other than for the possible breeding purposes, which I'm not 100% sure on just yet, she's gonna be staying just by herself. But I I love her pattern and her color's really nice. She's about to go into a shed right now, so her color's a little bit dusty kind of looking, but cool nonetheless. And on to my last leopard gecko. Mac. Mac is definitely the most skittish of the bunch, and I might not even be able to actually I'm going to take her top off completely because I'm probably not even going to be able to pick her up right now. I've been working with her though, and I will be able to handle her better soon, but just not right now. Well, that's a little bit better luck than I had earlier today. And she is a a, uh, a raptor, um, a Max Snow raptor. Sorry about that, I kind of forgot her morph. But she, her, her patterns actually come out a little better since I've had her. She's got red eyes, and I just love albino leopard geckos, they're really cool. But I'm I'm impressed right now, she actually 
She never lets me pick him, pick her up and stay this still. But I'm going to I'm going to grow her up a little bit. And then I'm going to put her in in the big exoterra with roach and indica. So those are all my leopard geckos. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you haven't watched my other videos, check out my channel, comment, subscribe. Have a good one, guys.